What's up, everybody? I'm Money Mike, and welcome to another episode of Elevator Crypto. Now, I know it's been a minute since we posted a video up. I sort of got off the beaten path there a little bit and started a side project with my sister and had a couple other things going on. But needless to say, today we're getting back at it. We're going to jump right back into it and see what's going on. Um, I have some interesting news given the current price of bitcoin i found these articles interesting also some news out of coinbase um almost down to the deadline here about xrp and the flare drop um we also have another couple articles about the new biden administration and how possibly they are going to view crypto and towards the end of this video i'm going to highlight a website here that i use daily just for news and other things and i also noticed they have a nice how-to section on there so for a lot of you guys that aren't as familiar with crypto or some of these websites or apps you could go on over to this site and sort of uh, look at a how-to for a couple things anyways that being said guys let's get it we're going to hop right in and take a look at the current price uh, right now, Bitcoin is sitting at $18,852.57, uh, down a little bit. We were up around 19 uh, yesterday. Ethereum itself, you can see here, down a little bit. We were over 600 uh, XRP, $0.58, cents, uh, reclaimed the third spot. Usually, we're seeing this underneath Tether. Uh, so it's nice to see XRP get a little bump up. And I think that had a lot to do, uh, you know, could possibly have a lot to do with uh, people flooding in uh, to buy XRP now due to the snapshot date approaching. I think it's less than a week away at this point. And uh, for every XRP you hold, you will also get a flare token so or a spark token, whatever. So that could be, you know, why it's seen a little surge as of late. Anyways, we're going to hop into our first article here. Now, I said these articles were kind of interesting given the current price of Bitcoin, right? 18,000 people are like, oh, it's up. I'm sort of waiting for a pullback. And you have to, you know, keep in mind, people thought the same thing when they seen it go from 3,000 to 6 and didn't want to buy it. They wanted to wait for a pullback and look at its current price now. Anyways, BI, uh, Big Digital Assets boost its Bitcoin treasury to $3.6 million worth of Bitcoin. Uh, the parent company of Netcoins and Blockchain Intelligent Group added another 40 Bitcoin to its long-term holdings. Now, the reason why I think this is interesting, and again, I'll link these articles in the description of the video below, uh, but I think it's interesting because given its current price, which some people view as, you know, being high, they're waiting for a giant pullback, you have companies dumping big money, right? They're not just spending a couple grand or a couple hundred dollars. They're dumping millions on Bitcoin right now. And they would not do that if they didn't think, you know, the future of this coin is not going to do multiple X's from where it's at. And honestly, I, I really do. I, I'm long-term bullish on Bitcoin. You know, I, I think seeing a $50,000 Bitcoin, a $100,000 Bitcoin one day is really not outside of the realm of possibilities. That's just my opinion anyways, not financial advice, guys. Always just my opinion. Do your own research. I always suggest. Um, but I thought that was pretty interesting, right? Companies are dumping millions of dollars still, given its current price, because they think it's going to go a lot higher from where it's at. Next article here, another company doing the same thing. MicroStrategy will issue 400 million in securities to buy more Bitcoin. Again, guys, this is news from today, 15 hours ago. And it shows that at its current price right here, 18000 these companies are still willing to spend millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars on the digital asset. And that has to tell you something in the grander scheme of things that we are still in infancy stage here for Bitcoin. And this has a long way to go, especially as smart contracts make their way over to Bitcoin, especially as, you know, green Bitcoin mining becomes more, uh, you know, more plays a bigger role in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, you're going to see these things expand. You're going to see major companies get in like you're seeing already. And it's just going to ignite, you know, such a mass adoption for these things that it's unbelievable. And we are still early, guys. That's why I stress we're still early. Anyways, you know, moving on, I'm going to hop onto the next article, but 
I just said that, you know, wow, 400 million given its current price, they really must think this has a long way to go, right? Anyways, I'll link these up below. Moving on, the next one's about Coinbase. Uh, I got this article from Decrypt today. Excuse me. And it says uh, Coinbase finally, finally says they're going to support. Now, this article was actually from the 6th. I'm sorry. But it says Coinbase is going to support the airdrop that gives all XRP holders free crypto. Coinbase customers will receive the airdrop should Coinbase list the token. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they will. And that's why this is all coming about. Uh, it says Coinbase will support an airdrop that will give all XRP holders free crypto, which is the Flare, the Spark token. Last week, the company issuing the airdrop said that Coinbase is likely too late. Several other exchanges also support the airdrop. So we'll have to sort of watch this and see how this plays out over the next couple days. I know we are within a week of the snapshot, I believe. Uh, so we'll have to see where this goes. Uh, last week, Flare Network, the company that next week will issue the XRP holders with an equivalent amount of Spark tokens, said that Coinbase was likely too late to let its customers participate in the airdrop. Near radio silence, it said, for the company that holds billions of dollars worth of customers XRP. So that leads you to think, like, what was Coinbase going to do with it? Were they just going to pocket all that flair or spark for themselves? Makes you wonder, but let's see what happens. Uh, you know, they had these announcements. I'm pretty sure they could get this turned around here to see that the people holding XRP on their Coinbase wallets will be able to receive the airdrop. So you don't have to move it off to a different exchange or the ledger to do it if you haven't set up your snapshot already. So that being said, moving on, this article I thought was pretty interesting because it just highlights another use case uh, for blockchain technology. Here you have a fashion brand, Desigual, turns to blockchain tech for supply chain visibility. It, you know, I'm not going to go through this, but again, just another way that we could use this type of technology in everyday use case, right? And to make things more efficient, more cost effective, and have and to have greater accuracy over, you know, your inventory. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you're going to see more and more companies do this. I know VeChain is a company, uh, crypto, that was, you know, they're very set up on the whole... Uh, uh, using the blockchain for, you know, companies and being able to track inventory and real-time assets and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty neat. This was from Coindesk uh, from today. This will be linked up below in the description. Uh, last article here I thought was interesting. Now we have Biden supposedly coming in here now. Uh, he was the next elected president. So, we, you know, people are starting to think, well, geez, what does that mean for crypto? What does that mean for me? And here it's saying Biden administration will ultimately be supportive of crypto. This is coming from Circle's CEO. This article was posted yesterday on Coindesk, um, but it says here Circle's CEO, Jeremy Allaire, believes the incoming Joe Biden presidential administration in the U.S. will ultimately be supportive of cryptocurrency because it represents a seismic shift as large as the commercial internet. Very big. Again, I'll link this up below, guys, but just goes to show you, you know, this could even be better for crypto. And when he gets into office, maybe things move a little quicker, right? And that's right around the corner. Lastly, uh, on the website I wanted to show you, decrypt.co. A website I use a lot for news articles and other things. And as I was scrolling through it today, you know, it came to me. I said, oh, geez, I've never highlighted the fact that they have a lot of... Uh, how-to sites and uh, a lot of things to get you sort of familiar with uh, some of these apps like Coinbase, MetaMask. So if you've never used these things and you want to get more acquainted with crypto and you're trying to get into it, go on over to Decrypt. You could take a look at any one of these articles here and sort of familiarize yourself with MetaMask or with Coinbase or, you know, even some of these Bitcoin debit cards that are starting to come out and you get, uh, you know, incentives and rewards for using your crypto to pay for things. So it's worth looking into. I'll link this below. Guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the content. Do me a favor, smash that like button, hit subscribe. 
Don't be afraid. Give me a follow over on Twitter at Elevate at Crypto. And until next time, be good. Elevate yourself. Elevate the people around you. Have a great day.